If I wanted to see the change, it had to be the change. And that's why we're creating and opening the bean. St. Louis has gone through some crazy turmoil. We've had a lot of things from race issues to politics, and it's definitely troublesome as a young millennial who wants to see more out of my community. A lot of peers felt like they had to leave St. Louis, but I knew I could find my fit here. Over 80% of our university becomes the workforce here in St. Louis, so it's really important to develop and build the network and community now. There are no places on campus to hang out, no coffee shop, no bars, there's one restaurant. If something's not going the way you want it to go, you have to be that change you want to see. Grandfather passed away about 15 months ago. In that moment, I had to tell myself, carpe diem. At my university, I helped pioneer a new entrepreneurship degree. I wanted to put together a proposal that created a space for writers, authors, professors, students, and the community members to come together and decided on a name, Seize the Bean. We're currently converting an old sorority house into a coffee house so that we can open in the next few months. Congratulations. There it is. Thank you so much. I'm looking uh, forward to this. There is a lot to do within our space as far as updating and bringing it to code and making it to a space that students or faculty or the community wants to hang out and linger in. Tonight we're throwing a little pop-up concept where we're going to show some coffee and bring people together. I'm not really sure how many community members are going to show up, but I'm definitely really excited for tonight to see how it all goes. I know my grandfather is sitting above me right now watching, smiling, telling everyone jokes, saying that's my grandson, come take a look. How we present ourselves physically and what we're wearing is very important. I want the employees to feel like they can have some swagger under their aprons. Alright. This, nice. this is awesome. We picked out different shirts for our baristas that are similar design but different patterns. Ooh. Dude, look at that. Dude, that is nice. Ooh. It's really important to me for our space is that our employees feel like they're their own person. So that when people walk in the door, they can feel like they're their own person. You guys ready to serve some customers? Heck yeah, yeah. let's get it. All right, let's do it. Welcome, welcome. You guys want to uh, actually have some coffee behind you? Thank you so much for being here. Alex, I think I need you up here. I want to thank you guys for all coming out and supporting this guy right here and realizing that what he's doing is gonna be awesome for the community. He's charming, he's persistent, and above all, he's a visionary. You genuinely want what's best for other people. And whenever you come up with an idea, you really set your mind to it and you figure out a way to make it happen. It takes hard work, dedication, and you did those things. You know how to surround yourself with all the people who believe in you, and nobody believes in you more than your mother. <laughs> He's gonna find a way to succeed. He always has and always will. I love you. <laughs> wow, you guys really believe in a lot of my dream and that's incredible because I think we really share a similar dream. Seize your moment, seize the bean, carpe diem, and thank you guys so much. Seize the bean! Entrepreneurship isn't just about creating a business, it's about creating something more than just yourself. We have all these pressing matters that are here and at our front door and alive, but we need to face them together. This is my city, this is my people, this is where I want to be. I'm definitely very grateful just to do something bigger with this coffee shop. We're doing our best to change the culture, and I think that's really what St. Louis needs.